it's Joy, and today we're watching Star Wars Rebels Season 3, Episode 1, Steps Into Darkness, Part 1. Which sounds like we're still going to be dealing with the emotional repercussions, if not the literal repercussions, of the season finale, and it's another two-parter that I'm going to be watching a week apart. But I am very stressed and excited to jump into this new season. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, get a to version one week in advance, and let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey. What? Oof. There he is with his short hair that they spoiled. But I mean, he's just growing up. This was a pretty... I'm just getting started, buddy. No, come oh. on, let's move. He's growing up. <laughs> Ezra is really like. You can definitely see how much his failure, although he was just a kid, his failure in the previous ep in the previous episode, in the previous mission. The, it's probably been a while in between. Has led to him feeling the need to grow up and to do better and to mature and he is also actually growing up and it's it's, it's emotional it's a lot it's too loud. No, jump. <laughs> it's too loud as he screams <laughs> he trapped Ezra you didn't need to let him fall that quickly but you made it chops welcome how's Kanan I thought so. He has. Baby boy. Now we're rescuing two people. Hey, twice the fun. Look out. Why are we just standing around chatting? Oh, it's Tippy Toes! Sorry. I will continue to be emotional at everything Chopper does. Who I am, but I'm also emotional about Ezra growing up. Here, make yourself useful. Is that really Ezra? Most of the time. Oof. I hope he's doing okay mentally. Oh lord. Where are you gonna go? Get down. What was the plan? Just break in, break out, wing it. Don't worry, Sabine. I got us into this. I'll get us out. Okay. Ezra. She's growing up too. He's changing. He didn't. Oof. Ezra, be careful, please. I don't think you're in a mentally healthy place right now. Ezra used his Jedi mind trick on the pilot. Pretty wizard, eh? I did what I had to do. Ah, Someone just give him some therapy quick. I appreciate the risk. I was responsible for what I knew. We went to get Sir. Hunter, and here he is. I'm sorry about Turbo. He's not doing all right, is he? Oh fuck. I don't like this. They Is it never would have succeeded without me. Don't they know that? Your anger gives Oh you fuck. Gives you focus. Friends cannot. Sweetheart. Now. It's slowly but surely brainwashing you. They become stronger. More powerful. I will never let my friends get hurt again. Thing is, it's coming from such a place of love and compassion, which was like some of Anakin's slide to the dark side, and I don't want to watch it again. What are we waiting for? Let's go get him. Not so fast. Ezra, we can't be at reckless. Confirm Hondo's. And your success has not gone unnoticed. You will lead this mission as Lieutenant Commander. Lieutenant. A promotion? <laughs> you earned it, kid. Way to go. Well done, young Jedi. Congratulations. See, you all recognize, sweetheart. He has a funny way of showing it, considering he's never around. Oh, is he struggling to cope? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Please, why are you with the frickin' spiders? I hear Ezra's doing well. He has been stepping up, but uh, he needs guidance. For what happened to you and Ahsoka. Well, I don't. Well, then talk to him again. Kanan, uh, hey, what are you doing here? Oh, he's got to sense that thing that Ezra is still. I think it's time for us to talk. Really? Uh, now is not a good time. I've been. 
so uh, I don't think, uh, it's saying everything it, he wants to hear that's the appeal of the dark side it get it just tells you oh things will be easy and simple and everyone will respect you and you will have everything you want and everyone you love will be safe if you just kill all these people for me promoting it so what ezra you know only someone who uses the dark side can open this thing. Mm -hmm. The things I've learned from it have really helped I hoped it wasn't going to be that. Maybe you should too. You might actually learn something. Oh, well, this conversation is not going to go well. Yeah, how dangerous this path is. Acting out of anger offers quick results, but it's a trap. Not for me. It's a slippery slope, my darling. I'll let you keep this. Fine. I don't need it. Just like I don't need you. He doesn't mean it. He's just a teenager going through trauma, lashing out. Well, that conversation started promisingly and then just went to hell. I'm very worried for Ezra. I have faith that he's gonna ultimately come through this and that he and Kanan will get close to each other again. Well, so far this is going poorly. Can't that thing make the spiders keep like a thousand meters away? There was an owl thing watching Vader. Is Yoda watching the comings and goings through animals? I can sense your presence. Oh, I thought that might move. Fucking hell. Hello. Hey friend, we could do with some new friends around here. Wait, we should destroy the transport before they contact the Empire. They probably already have. No, we're not leaving. He's anywhere. getting more and more willing to <laughs> risk right. taking lives, and I don't like it. To proceed with our mission. Fine, make the jump. You know, it's kind of gone from just fighting and taking lives when we absolutely have to to just doing it. Ah, your presence is like a violent storm in this quiet world. You're a force wielder, but what? you're not a Jedi. Wielder? Hmm. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashlar and Bogan. The light Ooh. and the dark. I'm the one in the middle, the Bendu. Fascinating. I am Kanan Jarrett. <laughs> His little snail friends. Even the desire to do good can lead some down that path. But only you can change yourself while you have it keeps the spiders from attacking me. May I see it? He's going to break it and I don't want spiders to come, okay? The only thing protecting me from those creatures. You believe that? But you must learn to see things differently. I just you could have given him this lesson in a way that didn't involve me having to be unable to look at the screen because of spiders. Not anymore. Oh. No. You are unwilling. As a force user, I think Kanan will be able to find some kind of sight more so than an average person. But I can teach you to see. If you're willing. What must I do? Sweetheart. Civilian casualties outnumbered the insurgents at the time. Acceptable margins, Agent Callus. But there are no Callus is hopefully shifting. Well, Thron, what do you think of Governor Price's theory about and things like that, okay? The Empire is okay with civilian casualties over doing the numbers of rebels. If anything, they're okay with civilian casualties. It is not viewed as the ultimate fuck we fucked up. It is viewed as, ah, well, you know, they're in the way, weren't they? I've had a few comments. Another one, I think it might be the same person, I don't know, but being like, oh, your opinion on the Empire is skewed or biased. Like, there are good people. And like, I'm sure there are people who just live on a planet who sign up just thinking, oh, you know, it's good wage, um, keep my family safe. Potentially even people who aren't given much of a choice are kind of like, press ganged into doing it but at the end of the day the more orders you just agree to when you know they're wrong the more civilian casualties you turn a blind eye to that is when you become complicit it is exactly the same with police officers serving today who have turned a blind eye to their friends being corrupt their friends being racist it is the same as army personnel if you witness a fellow soldier killing a civilian and you go oh well you know he was a bit stressed that day you are the problem. The Empire is oppressive and corrupt. It is not a democracy. It is not a world in which people are given a right or a freedom or a choice. It is wrong. It is criminal. It is evil. And if you think that is not the case, you are misunderstanding Star Wars and I worry about you. I will start my operations here and pull the rebels apart piece by piece. <laughs> the architects, 
of their own. This sounds like a friend for a fun season. Correction, there are only 14 left. Oh, like they're being destroyed. We need to move in now. There won't be any ships left if we wait. Oof. Hold on. Our orders are to recon the station. Not we'll find orders. another way. Advise Captain Sindhu. Mm -hmm. That's in order. He's getting reckless. And his, it's his desire to do good that is sending him down a dangerous path. Oof. Okay. Okay, so definitely, yeah, that we are taking, what was episode called again? Steps into Shadow. And Ezra is definitely running the risk of following Anakin's path. Um, and again, it's out of a desire to do good, a desire to protect those he loves. That view of, well, if I just took more risks, if I just was willing to kill more bad guys, then I could protect the good guys. But that is a dangerous, slippery slope that Ezra is sliding down. But I have faith in this show, in our family, in this crew, and in Ezra, that he will pull back before he gets too far gone, and that they will help him do that if necessary. It is a weird mixed feeling seeing him kind of grow up, seeing him take, more, take charge even more than he was before, seeing him trying to act that bit more manly i mean he's still a little kid you know he can still have he can still have fun he can still joke around with his family he can still be a kid but i worry that he's not gonna let himself do that because he is feeling the anger too much at himself and at the world for what happened and that conversation that he came and almost had with him it was so almost the one we needed and i hope at some point they do have that conversation um but of course it turned into Kanan just being blanket, like, no, you must not do the holocron. And then Ezra being like, I don't need you, I don't need it, I'm strong, ah. And both of them missed the point that they, the conversation that they both so desperately want to have. Um, if Ezra can learn useful things from the holocron, that is not necessarily a bad thing, especially as we got it to get knowledge to help us defeat the Sith. But the danger is how tempting that path is and he's going through it having just been through severe trauma he's in a very vulnerable position um i think in general this team needs communication it needs like family therapy or just to sit down and talk about how they're feeling which they're never going to do um it was a brilliant episode it was a stressful ending so the empire know they're there but jumping in recklessly i can understand why he wants to jump in recklessly given that you know the, the reason we were potentially going to do a mission here was for those specific ships and soon there aren't going to be any of those ships it's not the craziest idea they've ever had but it is also an idea where like at the end of the day, if we don't have those ships, we could potentially find ships elsewhere. It's not life and death, but we're about to make it life and death. Then we have Kanan, who I'm also obviously worried about, given that he has gone through a life-changing injury. But being blinded, I mean, I can't imagine it. But it's, it's not the end of the world. You still are alive. You still have your family and can live a basically full life. Um, though obviously it is life-changing. It would be incredibly ableist to be like oh well you know his life's over now um but he does have to adapt it is something that going from being sighted to unsighted it's gonna have to really learn to relearn to live his entire life and having been someone that has lost before this is an even greater loss on top of that and one where i guess he feels at the moment like he can't i mean he managed to fight more off directly after being blinded he needs to give himself some credit here but he probably feels like he can't protect those he cares about. His whole reason for being was being part of this rebellion, going against the Empire and protecting his family, and now he's a liability he needs to be protected. But he's also a Force user, and I think if anybody is going to be able to develop a different kind of sight or find a way to be just as capable of physical fighting and everything as anybody else, it will be someone who can use the force because he can sense where things are and he will be able to, which I guess he's going to do against fucking spiders on the next episode and it's going to ruin my life. Um, but I think he will get to a place where he is at peace with it and where he's maybe weirdly even more in tune with the force than he was before. I love our giant dude who's being very helpful. At first his voice sounded kind of Yoda-ish, but I think it just sounded old and wise. So that was a nice surprise. Stressed about the mission. Stressed about Ezra, stressed about Kane, and stressed about everybody. <sighs> Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, edited version one week in advance, and thank you so much for watching.